These are the best pieces you can find at Uniqlo right now for the transitional season. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to do another edit of the best pieces at Uniqlo right now. And instead of doing summer pieces, this time we're talking about items that are really great for those in-between seasons. I've been buying my bases at Uniqlo for almost 10 years now. So some of the pieces in today's video are tried and tested favorites. And then there are some other pieces that are newer discoveries. When I'm watching a video like this, I want to know the best pieces from the brand, but I also want to know which pieces to avoid and what are some of the worst quality pieces as well because I have purchased them and they have not held up very well. I'm on 60 centimeters by foot three so if you're petite you can see how clothing looks on someone who is our height. After almost 10 years of wearing Uniqlo I feel like I've tried a lot of their t-shirt styles and I can narrow down the best t-shirts to these three styles. Previously and I still am a huge fan of these Uniqlo U t-shirts. These are thicker heavier t-shirts and they just last forever. You can keep on washing them and I feel like the shape and the fabric fabric lasts really well. However, these are a thicker weight t-shirt. I feel like it doesn't drape as well because of that. And it also has a very, very smooth texture. So it's a t-shirt I'll go for when I want that specific look rather than being an everyday staple t-shirt in my wardrobe. Here are two t-shirts I've been wearing a little bit more and I do feel like the style of these are a little bit more versatile to match with all of my looks. So the first one is this rib t-shirt. This one has a crew neck, it is very cropped and I just love the rib pattern to bring a little something something into a basic outfit. These are made from 93% cotton, 7% elastane. They're a mid-weight fabric and they're just also my most comfy tees. So not only do I wear them out, I actually also sleep in these. Um, because they're so so comfy. For this t-shirt, I actually decided to go one size up because my true size was just pulling a little bit on the shoulder. All of my sizing information I will have in the description box down below. My other t-shirt favorite is this stripe one. This one I like because it's very very soft. That is what drew me to this t-shirt. It's 100% cotton, it's in a nice light to medium weight material and it feels wonderful on the skin and on the body. This one fits really well in that it is cropped but it's not as cropped as the last t-shirt I showed. So you can definitely still tuck this one in as usual but you just don't have that much excess fabric. This t-shirt comes in some really great colors and I would say of the three t-shirts, these two are probably my favorite right now. And I'm not wearing the Uniqlo U t-shirts as often as I used to, but I still think that if you're looking for a medium weight t-shirt, these are some of the best I've come across. With something like a basic t-shirt, sometimes I just feel like they're all the same. But what I like about the Uniqlo ones is that they wash and they hold up well. So with all my t-shirts, I throw them into the washing machine a lot. And I still feel like they keep their shape and they keep their fabric quality very well. There's nothing I hate more than a t-shirt where after you wash it a few times, the neckline loses its shape and it starts to look very messy. These t-shirts do hold up well. And that is why I like Uniqlo basics. I popped on a Uniqlo sweater because I want to cover knitwear next. So should we start with my oldest? The oldest I have in my collection is this Uniqlo extra fine merino knit. I've had this one for quite a few years now and I truly feel like the extra fine merino is not only very comfortable to wear on my skin, it's a really practical layering piece to keep me warm in the winter. The simple crew neck fitted and just a very good basic. I like the quality and the durability of these. What I don't like is that sometimes the colors can feel a bit off. I only like the neutral ones, whereas the colorful ones are sometimes just not the shades that I feel drawn to. The other thing is that I purchased this quite a few years ago and I feel like since then they have updated their sizing. If I wear the same size now, I feel like it runs a little bit larger on me. So I would actually recommend sizing down if you want a really fitted look from this style of sweater. Another knitwear piece I feel like Uniqlo does really well is their cashmere crewnecks. The quality of cashmere at Uniqlo I do feel like is really good. It's very very soft so I can wear it on my bare skin with no issues whatsoever. And it's very comparable to other knitwear brands that make cashmere crewnecks and oftentimes they are a little bit more expensive than Uniqlo. This cashmere crewneck is a part of their 3D collection. In this particular collection, there are tons of really beautiful colors. In their classic line, I still like it, but I feel like the colors can be a bit limited. Whereas this particular style comes in tons of incredibly stunning colors. The 3D cashmere knit versus the regular one is slightly more closer knit. And what that's meant to do is to make it more durable 
and also with this style it's meant to peel less than the original i have noticed that as i've worn it i haven't seen any peeling of course i haven't had it for ages but i have not seen peeling because this 3d knit comes in tons of beautiful colors because it's more closely knit as well as very low peeling i do prefer this style a little bit more than the original though the original is not bad either this is where i'm going to talk about the lamb's wool sweaters these sweaters i do not recommend i truly feel like they are some of my least favorite things from Uniqlo. They peel a lot, like crazy. When you remove the peeling, which it is possible to do with a cashmere comb, I also find that the material itself disintegrates a little bit too fast. It thins out, there is just so much peeling going on. The other reason I don't like the lamb's wool sweaters is that you have to be very, very, very careful with them or else they felt. When I say felt, I mean that the sweater kind of changes in texture and the fibers, they all stick together. So you can't see the definition of the knit anymore and the knitwear shape and feeling changes. This has happened to me twice with the Uniqlo Lambswool range and I've almost never experienced it with any other knitwear I own. So if you're looking for knitwear at Uniqlo and the merino and the cashmere versions are too light, you want something a bit more substantial. What I recommend doing is searching for their cotton knitwear options. As it's made from cotton, it's a lot easier to maintain. The cotton that Uniqlo uses tends to hold up quite well and I don't have the issues I have with the lambswool sweater. The relaxed shape of this one I find very comfortable to wear. It feels very cozy as you guys go into autumn winter. So if you're looking for good knitwear pieces that are slightly heavier, I would say go for cotton. This is that style I purchased in store. I feel like I didn't see it online. I'm sure they'll release this exact style or something very, very similar soon because I've seen them do this year after year. Recently, I've been trying to get as much wear as I can from my sweaters before I have to put them away for spring summer. You are seeing all of my favorite sweaters in today's video. Let's move on to trousers now. Up until three to four months ago, I feel like I didn't know Uniqlo made good trousers. I was more drawn to their t-shirts and their knitwear, but now my favorite item from Uniqlo are probably their pants. Let's start with the wide leg pleated trouser. First thing first before I forget, the cream pair hasn't been shortened. So that's the original length. And then the grey pair has been shortened with the free alteration service that Uniqlo offer. With these trousers, I really like them because I truly feel like they look very chic, very tailored, um, whether you want to wear them for the office or more casually. I feel like these Uniqlo trousers are a really good droop for a lot of the more expensive pants I've seen online. The fabric of these pants are very opaque, so it doesn't matter if you go for the dark colors or the beige or the cream, none of them will be see-through because it's a thicker, more opaque fabric. The fabric the fabric actually has a bit of stretch to it, making them super super comfortable if you want to wear them to the office, but also they're good as a casual pant. See as I'm holding this pant up, it's really not like rippling, it's not flowy, um, it really has that opacity, structure and shape to it. Even if I don't fold it and just stuff it into a bag, this fabric is very 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 wrinkle resistant. It will not have creases. Um, as you wear it during the day. And even if you scrunch it up, I think it will still be fine when you pull it out. If you're wondering how I look after these pants, I throw them straight in the wash. I do a 30 degree cycle, they come out looking great. So it's very easy to upkeep and maintain these pants, which I very much appreciate. The biggest con for these pants is that they are made from a synthetic blend. It's mostly a recycled synthetic, but nonetheless, synthetic. The truth here is that this fabric is not my favorite, but at the same time, because they're a wider style, um, because they do not stick on me, I don't mind as much. And as a general rule for my bottoms, I don't care as much compared to my top, which 100% absolutely has to be breathable. At this price point, these are definitely the best trousers I've come across, both at Uniqlo and in general, because I think that they look very expensive. I think they look very chic and modern and sleek, and they're versatile enough to wear both for work and casually. If the fabric of the last pant was a bit of a deal breaker, or you're not really a fan of that more workwear inspired look, then I feel like these trousers could be a good alternative. These are the wide leg cargo pants, and these ones come in a few different colors from I believe a cream 
all the way to this dark gray. This one is not a black, it's kind of like a charcoal gray or off black. And these are really nice to style in a more casual way. What do I like about these pants? I like that these ones are made from 100% cotton this time around, so all natural fibers. I love that they're a wide leg shape, but they don't feel too extreme. They still feel very wearable in all of my outfits. The cargo pocket is a nice touch. With these pants, I also have had them shortened in store, which they did for free. And very happy with these being that shorter ankle length. If this was too long, I think it has a more baggy, relaxed look. Whereas because they're shorter now, they feel a little bit more tailored um, and like they fit me better. These pants, in my opinion, fall somewhere between a mid to high rise. It kind of sits around the belly button or just above, which is still a good rise for me, but I personally don't really like to do anything lower. Than this pant. In the try on clips have a look, I still think that it ends at a very flattering point um, and not too low for my taste. The cotton quality of these pants is very good. I think it's more of a heavyweight material and the construction of them feels quite sturdy and I also feel like because it's cotton it washes well over time. My boyfriend also has some cotton chinos from Uniqlo. He's had them for years and years and they still look, in my opinion, pretty good. So cotton pants, not only in my wardrobe, but his wardrobe, I feel like has stood the test of time. So I've been really happy with these. I love the way they look in my outfit, especially when I pair it with something a little bit softer, lighter, or more fitted. I'll link to this pan and some of the color options they do, uh, but from memory, it goes from light to dark. If you're looking for a new coat or outerwear at Uniqlo, I'm actually going to start with the things that I don't recommend, so then that the things I do recommend makes more sense. So what I don't recommend are coats like this one. This is the double face long coat. I purchased a coat like this a few years back. It was made from a very, very similar fabric composition to this style of coat. After three months, there was just so much peeling. The material honestly looked quite awful because it was wearing in a very uneven way. I do think that there are better wearing coats at Uniqlo. I'm just a little bit hesitant to recommend them after I had such a bad experience with my one. Another thing to always check with Uniqlo outerwear, especially if you're shopping online, is whether the outerwear is lined. Oftentimes, Uniqlo doesn't line their blazers or their jackets, and they'll just leave the inside unfinished. I can give you this jacket as a rough example. This one was part of their Jill Sander collaboration, one of their more high-end collaborations. And even in this case, you can see that it's half lined. From the midpoint onwards, it's not lined, and you can see where the seams meet. This particular blazer that I own actually worked out really well because I wanted something for the spring summer months that would be super super lightweight. But if you're looking for autumn winter knitwear, I would definitely pay attention to this because you do want that lining for extra warmth. If something isn't lined, it can feel a bit lighter so it won't fall and have that beautiful drape that another jacket might have. With that out of the way, now let's take a look at the jackets that I do like and recommend. This blazer I actually really like the look of. So this one, as I said, is lightweight, perfect for those warmer months. And I generally find their jackets in the collaborations tend to feel a bit more elevated and chic compared to their classic range. This one from The Reason Collaboration looks really nice. It's like a brush jersey jacket, and I do think it looks a lot nicer than their classic line pieces. This is a cotton denim jacket from Uniqlo. It's a little bit wrinkled because I wore it yesterday and then I stuffed it into a bag um, and it didn't hang her back up. This is a 100% cotton denim jacket and this denim actually feels really lovely. It's soft, it's very kind of malleable. It's between the cotton shirt and a cotton jacket and that is my ideal. It doesn't have that very structured boxy look. It has a little bit of a softer look, which I really like. I feel like if you're petite, it fits really, really well. And this one I purchased in the Sydney store recently. I can't find this one online, but it's again, one of those pieces they bring out year after year. So I'm sure if you like it, you'll be able to find it in store or very soon on the site. This one for me is a really good weight. Whether I wanna wear it in spring, summer, or whether I wanna wear it inside a heavier winter coat, it's really malleable and just perfect for layering. One of my favorite styles of jackets that Uniqlo do are their cotton blend shell jackets. The type that is made from something that's in between like a trench coat and a nylon shell. Those jackets from Uniqlo, in my experience, feel really elevated in how they look, but they also just hold up really well. They're very, very, very durable. I spotted this one on the Uniqlo website 
It's a collaboration as part of Uniqlo U and it's coming very very soon. So I thought I would share it because this one looks really beautiful. This one feels like a really good transitional jacket and it just feels really chic with the pattern on it as well. If you have a jacket or coat from Uniqlo, let me know your experiences with it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know the style so I can keep an eye out for it next time I'm in store. My favorite shirt from the Uniqlo range would be this flannel shirt. And this one is actually from the men's collection, not the women's. So the women's one is made from, I believe, a polyester viscose blend, whereas the men's one is made from 100% cotton. I prefer this one because the fabric feels really nice. I just like natural fibers, so I'm always gonna go for the cotton over the blend. In terms of how I wear a flannel shirt, usually I don't wear it by itself buttoned up. I will wear it more as a jacket or a layering piece between my t-shirt and my outerwear. Or I will knot it up or tie it in some way as a jacket. A flannel shirt feels like it'll be a really good autumn winter classic. So as the weather drops and you want to create more of a layered look and you don't want too many heavy bulky pieces, the flannel shirt is really good to put over that base layer and then to have a bit of it pop through inside a coat. The final piece I want to talk about are Uniqlo bags and I'm actually not talking about the crescent half moon one. That one is nice because it's so functional, it's so practical. I feel like we all know about that bag at this point. My partner has one because he wears when he goes snowboarding to carry his essentials and he has it inside his jacket but for me and for everyday wear I prefer the drawstring style. I have this bag in the green color and you can wear it on your shoulder or as a crossbody. I truly feel like this bag is such a good droop for the Le Mer bags um, because they make bags made from nylon in this slouchy shape and to me, they have a very, very similar vibe. If you like the street style vibes, you like the oversized casual street style look, then I feel like this bag really would fit into your style and not to mention, because this bag is made from nylon, ridiculously light, it's durable, it will work amazing for travel, for weekends, and it will just be so practical. The reason why I'm bringing this one up is because on the website, I see that they're about to launch a smaller version and I feel like for a lot of people that will solve an issue they were having with the original. The original is quite big for every day, whereas this small size is so cute and perfect for a daily size. When you're going out for a day trip or a weekend, sometimes you don't need to carry that big of a bag. So that's where I feel like the small can come in very handy. Those were the best pieces you can find at Uniqlo right now. I would love to know what is your favorite piece from Uniqlo and why. Let me know in the comments down below, I would love to read them and check them out in store. Thank you so so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, I would love for you to go give this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more Uniqlo reviews, as well as weekly fashion videos. I'm also on Instagram if you'd like to follow me there, and I'll see you next time. Bye!